I was spelling my name because my name is spelled, not, not spelled with the I, it's spelled with the U. I was like, okay, my name is Alexis A. Utley, and she hung up on me. Y'all. It's days like this where my patience just gets tested because I don't like when people are rude over the phone. I don't like that nasty customer service. So, you know what I'm going to do? Hello guys, happy Tuesday. I hope everybody had an awesome Tuesday. Today is November 21st and I just had my usual breakfast of eggs and coffee. And let me just tell you, I put like a lot of sugar in that coffee. I didn't mean to, plus the creamer I used had sugar in it. So it's like, I feel very buzzed right now, but it's fine. Um, I have to get ready to go here in a minute. I'm going downtown to the natural, okay, the, the Museum of Natural History. That's where I'm going. And um. You know, I got to do a project for astronomy, and he said we could go to the Museum of Natural History. So my goal today is to figure out what's in that museum that has to do with astronomy. I'm going to see. Whew, that coffee was so sweet. But oh my gosh, y'all. I was on Spotify last night, right? Because I never listen to music on Spotify. It's like all my friends do, but I don't. So I was on Spotify, and I just listened to, what's it called? Like my weekly playlist or my weekly something like my playlist that they make for me and i found a song in there and i have got to find it i've got to find it so i hope that i'm not behind um because sometimes when i get hip to music you know it's like i'm behind but it's called your will by red hands oh my goodness i just i like this song so i'm about to put this song on my phone before i go and i think it's a gospel song too i'm like oh my goodness this is, I don't even think they have any other music. I think they're, hmm, they've done a song with Ty tri Trivet. Dang it. I was hoping I could, like, listen to their album or something. I don't think they have that many songs out. Oh, my gosh, I love them. Y'all, check that song out, okay? It's called Your Will by Red Hands. Just, just listen to it. Like, it's good. So, growing up, when I started asking older people for letters of recommendations for different things, I was always told to not read the letters of recommendations. Just don't read them. But you know what? One time I read this letter of recommendation from my old boss, like this was a while ago, and it wasn't that great. I mean, I gave it to somebody else to read and she said it was okay, but I was like, the letter of recommendation was like this small, I don't know. I, don't, I just didn't like it, but I got a letter of recommendation from a certain somebody, and I'm going to read it. So I'm going to set y'all on top of the Amazon Echo. There we go. I want to read what she said. Oh, I'm reliable, resourceful, organized, responsible, as well as demonstrates great perseverance and initiative. Oh my goodness. Ain't nobody that's so exciting because somebody told me that I didn't have initiative when I was younger. Take that. What? Oh, I have knowledge and creativity skills. I love it. It's just, you know, sometimes you need a little encouragement. Sometimes you need to be told you're doing a fine job, Alexis. <laughs> but yeah, for real, I, I need to get going. Like, I don't know how late I'm trying to get to this museum. All right, I'm getting ready to head downtown. My dad was nice enough to drive me to the metro station. Shout out to you, dad. But they said it's going to be like 61 degrees. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's 10 degrees cooler than what it's been for the past week. I love this, so you know, just got my little track jacket on. All right, seems like a nice day to go to the museum. Hey, Panda in the metro station. Oh my goodness. Every time I have an opportunity to get on a new train, I always get stuck on the old ones. Oh my goodness, it was just a new train up here and I missed it. Nobody on here. Beautiful. Oh, nope, something right there. Sit here. Beautiful. Oh shoot, I'm reading the group chat. Uh, group chat <laughs> group chat for my job supposedly I was supposed to be in today I don't understand what he said either but Step back oh my goodness uh, I apologize uh, I'm headed downtown to DC so I would not be in today I'm gonna go on and take the stairs and beat these people up there Right, that's the Smithsonian Castle. That's the monument back there. So I know the museum's over here somewhere. Meaning I should be over here. It was easy, the museum's right here. All right, here's the elephant. I remember taking a picture of that the last time I was in here like 10 years ago. 
What I'm interested to see is what can I find in here that relates to astronomy? Because that's what this project is for. Here's something. We studied how old the Earth, Earth is. 3.5 billion years ago. It's not what we studied, but you know, close enough. human life evolved from. We started off looking like this, and then we look like this, and then 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 we got that light skin, yup. We all used to be dark skin. Mm-hmm. This is exactly how it was. Evidence for human evolution. I love it. I love it. Look at all the skulls. I, I, I love it. Our family tree, y'all. Here are all your cousins. Look, look, look. There go your uncle right there. Your aunties are up there. Look. Oh, for real. That's how you look today, but uh-uh. That's how it really is. We are 60% genetically similar to bananas. And chickens, which is why we shouldn't be eating our cousins. Everybody needs to go vegan. Mice. And of course, the monkeys, of course. Say as humans evolved, our brains got larger, but I'm starting to think some people in this generation still got that early human brain. I'm just saying. This is the height of the average female back then. She's this tiny, with that beautiful hair. Oh, look at the cuties. It's a mouse, and that's a chipmunk. I don't know why I pictured a black bear being larger still fearful but you know i didn't know and let me just tell you i love possums i've always loved possums they are so cute oh goodness look at this hippo's mouth is so big ew i mean not ew but cool oh it's just a it's not a skunk what is this black and white colobus oh it's a type of monkey oh my goodness that's pretty if you just walk somewhere and this thing just run past your leg, I would die. This is a bear right here. This is what I, that's what I figured how big they were. I'm so excited. They're all so excited. Yes, it's a coral reef. <laughs> Fun, that's the second floor. I have a gemstone that looks like this on my dresser, but I'm pretty sure it's not a thousand bucks worth. But if anybody wants an, uh, an amethyst, this one's on sale for $1,000. Wow, oh, there's so many gems in here. So many gems. Can't afford any of them. Just make me think of Steven Universe so much. I used to love that show. Oh, here's some astronomy. I was looking for it. it reminds me of when I went to the uh, Loray Caverns when I was younger. And I must be hungry, because I looked at this and I saw a hot dog. And this does not look like a hot dog. I can't even eat hot dogs. Oh my goodness. Where did I step into? This feels like a whole different, whole different place. I almost got lost in this museum. Oh my goodness. There's a butterfly zoo up there, an insect zoo, different types of stuff. But I found the stairs. I'm about to head out. I think I got enough information for my uh, astronomy paper. But now, of course, I'm getting hungry. Where am I gonna go eat? Hmm. You know you're at a DC museum when you exit somewhere completely different from where you entered. Oh my goodness. Here's the thing, I'm going to Ann Pizza, and I know what you're thinking, every time I come down here I get pizza, and I know, but look, I was gonna go somewhere else. I was gonna go to Chopped and like make my own salad, but I was like, do I wanna pay over 10 bucks for a salad? Cause you know, like I gotta get it with the craisins on it and the walnuts, and it's like, that was expensive. And I was like, do I have to? I'm not sure. So, sticking with my pizza. And I know Ann Pizza is delicious, so I'm actually looking forward to it. Don't judge me. At least trolley is good, but they're a burger joint, and that's not vegetarian friendly. But I'm seeing people carrying the Ann Pizza boxes, so that's a good sign. Can I get the garlic oil? The garlic oil? Yeah, and, uh, and the goat cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it, yeah. 
I've always wanted to sit in the window where I could just like look at people and stuff. And I got, uh, I made my own pizza. This is basil pesto, so I'm swaying off of my vegetarian a little bit. I got tomatoes. Uh, Y'all heard I got goat cheese and garlic oil. I had to get that delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for this. I'll just tell you, and pizza has the best tasting cream soda. Like, I had to sway off my vegetarian and my low sugar. I had to get this and that. Oh my gosh. I'm about to grub. home now and it seems like no matter where I go in DC I always end up at Metro Center Metro Station <sighs> I'm not gonna get confused this time hey I didn't get lost this time I am home and I need to clarify something a little bit so I don't want anybody to get offended because I guess like when I was at the museum like I had kind of like this sarcastic sort of I don't know what I'm trying to say but I really did enjoy the I really did enjoy the museum. I learned a lot. And, you know, even if I was kind of, like, joking about certain parts, you know, just just know that, you know, I don't want anybody taking anything I said earlier offensively. I don't know why you would, but, you know, I just got to make sure I acknowledge that. So, I am going to go on a jog later, but I need to call up Samsung customer service because I bought these Bluetooth headphones, the Level U. And the left headphone works good, but the right one is silent. And I tried to go into my settings and kind of balance it, but it's not my settings. It's something with the earphones. So I'm not sure if there's like a reset button I can do. I don't know, but I'm all for calling community service. So we're, ugh, community service. I'm all for calling customer service. So we're going to see what they say. And they might even send me a new pair of headphones. Samsung. Samsung. I don't even think I have the warranty. Thanks for calling Samsung Electronics. This call will be recorded. You can talk to me like you would to a person, or you can push the pound key to get to our touch tone system. So I can say one moment while I put you through to our touch tone system to route your call. I don't think they're going to be able to help me. If you are inquiring or needing support on a Samsung product, press 1. If you are calling on behalf of... To enable us to serve you faster, please have your model and serial number ready. For mobile phones, Galaxy tablets, gear, media players, or mobile phone accessories, press 1. For home entertainment devices such as TVs, Blu-ray, I should have kept my always keep your receipts, y'all. For home appliances, press 3. For office products such as laptops and for questions on your mobile devices, including tablets, Galaxy gear, media players, press 1. Samsung accessories, press 2. Samsung applicate for technical support, press 1. To purchase Samsung accessories, press 2. An excellent customer experience continues to be Samsung's goal, and we would like your help. You may receive... I don't think they're going to be Hello, thank you for calling 1-800-SAMSUNG. My name is Tarsena. Are you calling regards to a mobile device today? Um, no. These are my Bluetooth earphones that I pay, uh, bought from the store. Well, I wasn't sure if you could help me with this, but I got the Samsung, it's the Level, I think it's Level U, their Bluetooth headset. Um, the the uh, the left earphone is louder than the right one. It's like the right one's not coming through. And I wanted to know if you knew of like a reset button I could turn on or something. Oh, but I would need the receipt. Yes, I you would. Oh, I, yeah, I don't have that. Okay, thank you, though. Oh, um, you're more than welcome, ma'am. Did you want a ticket number? Um, oh, no, that's fine. All right, well, I did thank you for calling Samsung. Can you please have a nice day? You too. Darn it. And I've always been told to keep my receipts. I wonder... I wonder if I could call them, because I bought these from the BJ's. I wonder if I could call them up and see if they could, like, 
going to their system and finding like the receipt. I don't know. Y'all, dang it, I should have kept my receipt. Okay, so I had this camera recording on the wrong phone conversation. I got the nice Samsung lady. So I just called the BJ's where I bought these uh, headset from. So I basically wanted to know, see, I'm not good with talking on the phone. Oh my gosh, I keep thinking I'm good with talking on the phone, but I'm not. I wanted to know if they could look up my receipt and if I could get like a copy of the receipts. You know, just so, because they said if I, if I have the receipt and I send these back in, they'll give me a new pair. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to... Basically, I called her BJ's and I was like, first of all, she didn't even let me get my whole sentence out. I was like, hello, um, I bought some headphones from BJ's a few months ago before I could even get the rest of my thought out. What's a few months ago? Because you only have 90 days. And I'm like, excuse you? Let me get, first of all, let me get the rest of my sentence out. First of all. So I got the rest of my sentence out. And then uh, I basically asked, can they look the receipt up for me? Can they give me another copy? And she was like, yeah, we can look the receipt up for you. And I was like, oh, uh, what'd you say? Because she had said it kind of slightly. I wasn't sure. Yeah, we can look the receipt up for you. And then, okay, I was like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking I'm going to give her my name and my email address. You know, you can send it to me. Before I was spelling my name, because my name is spe not, not spelled with the I, it's spelled with the U. I was like, okay, my name is Alexis A. Utley. And she hung up on me. Y'all, it's days like this where my patience just gets tested because I don't like when people are rude over the phone. I don't like that nasty customer service. So, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to open my computer. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to, uh, let's see. See, um, what's that website called? Oh yeah, uh, Yelp. I'm gonna go to Yelp. I'm gonna type in that BJ's because I know that BJ's location, and I'm gonna let member services have it because you do not talk to somebody over the phone like that. I thought she was talking to, but about as rude. Sorry. Okay. Cause I've dealt with rude people there before, and I was nice. I'm not being nice this time. Oh, they're gonna get it. Oh, they better be glad that I cannot find their location on Yelp. But you know what? That ain't stopping me because I got their location right here on Google uh, Google reviews. Hmm. 4.1 rating and 100 of 145 Google reviews. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to fix that today. Wait a minute. There's so many places I can write reviews. That's the thing. See, I can go to Yelp, which is my... Uh, which is my uh, normal place. I can't believe I don't have the... The address must be wrong here. Anyways, I can go to Yelp. Um, Google Reviews, Facebook Reviews, Foursquare. It's like so many different platforms. But we're going to do Google Reviews today. You do not talk... Mm -mm. You, you, you spoke to the wrong person like that. So y'all would not believe it. So I fixed the earphones. All I had to do was take off that... Take off this. This is what was like muffling it for some reason. I was like, I don't really understand why I was muffling it, but they work now. So good. I don't have to go up to BJ's Root Customer Service and try to get my receipt. But I am about to go on a bike ride. I was going to go for a jog. I said, never mind. Go on a bike ride instead. Um, About 30 minute bike ride. I'll be back because it's getting like, it's getting like cold and dark. It's like, what is not even 4.15? <sighs> But I do got to work off this delicious cream soda that I had earlier. Oh my gosh. It tasted like... It tasted like beauty. I don't know how to describe it. I had to sign up for Ann Pizza's mailing list. Just... I love it. I wish basil didn't have the cow lining stomach in it though. Is that what basil's made of? Or is it animal bones? What's rennet made of? Either it's the lining of a cow stomach or animal bones. I wish it didn't have it. I sure do love that basil pizza that I got earlier, y'all. I'm just saying. Okay, so I just came in for my bike ride, and I need to make a list of stuff that needs to get done over this Thanksgiving break. Because I will be relaxing, but I got stuff to do too. So, let's see. I need to get caught up on a bunch of stuff. And by the way, I contacted Maru-chan. Do y'all remember when I said I bought like that 24-pack of creamy chicken noodles? Well, that's gone. I'm never buying that again. But I contacted them. And I was like, hey, I'm trying to go vegetarian, and y'all have a lot of chicken and beef options. Do you have, like, a veggie option, like a creamy ve creamy vegetable? Because, yeah. 
And they were like, you know, they take it into consideration. But they sent me a, sent me something in the mail. They're basically like, thanks for contacting them. And they gave me coupons. So I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And it, it never expires. The problem is that I'm not going to, I'm not going to order any of these. It's chicken and beef stuff. So I wish I had somebody I could give it away to. I want to do a giveaway on this channel, but I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to wait. I have to see what's going to happen next year. If something happens next year, no, I, I, I can't give too much information away. But I do want to do a giveaway on this channel. I'm just waiting for something. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> but let me make a list of stuff that needs to get done. Thanksgiving break. I'm getting caught up on stuff. I got my nice little list. Um, This is almost done. And this is almost done. But yeah. Thanksgiving break, right? It's just like in grade school, you know, over Thanksgiving break, they would give us a break packet. It's like, it ain't never a break. The only true breaks I have is over the uh, winter break and summer break. Ah, oh my gosh. Let's get started. All right, so I just finished my advocacy day speech. Let's see. Oh, ooh, 590 words. So my, my speech has to be 500 words, no more than 500 words. I, I'm... I'm just writing, and I'm thinking I have like 1,000 words. I only have 590. I can get that down. I can get that down. But y'all, so and Pizza, I love that place. But they got a really good playlist. Like I was just listening to the music in the background. Like you know when the restaurants play music, that's why I had ended up staying in there like longer than what I had intended. I was listening to that music. So I'm about to, you know, I shazammed like three of them. About to listen to some songs, but y'all, that song earlier by Red Hands. They need to come out with some more music. I'm thinking they're like up and coming. I think. I'm just assuming. Like, oh, please don't tell me that they're one of those kind of artists that have like one hit wonders. No, <laughs> make more music. All right, but uh, I'm about to download some stuff. Just a little while later, I went on my bike ride. It was like 25 minutes. I didn't even do a 30 minute bike ride. But uh, let's see, what did I do? I uh. I wrote a little bit of my out of class paper. I worked on my advocacy day speech. I think I was productive. Um, but I have to be in at work tomorrow at nine, and this is like the earliest she's ever wanted me in. It's like, oh my gosh. But uh, I'm about to go. My mom is blasting Christmas music. I'm glad she's getting in the spirit. <laughs> but okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up, and I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye bye. Thank you.